I haven't done a video for a while, so I just thought I'd shoot a quick video on how to build a real estate chatbot on VoiceFlow. Um, so that's what I've been up to for the last couple of weeks, just kind of getting going real deep on technically how do you how do you build a chatbot, how do you build a AI agent. So I've been on all sorts of platforms, um, experimenting with them all. Um, and VoiceFlow is a platform that I'm kind of choosing to go deep on. Um, for, for, for a few reasons. Um, so this is the platform. You can see this is their website. Uh, they've been around for some while. They've been around for a, a long time. Um, you can see they've actually already worked with some of the biggest and best companies in the world. And these guys are straight killers, if you ask me. Um, and the thing that's excited me most is the fact that they've actually just raised 15 mil um, this week, um, led by OpenView Venture Partners. Um, which is a huge indication to me that these guys are going to be around for a very long time. Um, so when websites came around, WordPress was the platform that everyone started building websites on. And if you were early on WordPress, um, you did very well. And so um, I'm placing a bit of a bet on VoiceFlow that these guys are going to be around for a very long time. Um, and these are going to be probably hopefully the go-to platform. And I think it's something you need to be mindful of if you're cho choosing to get into this space to make sure you're actually building on a platform that has longevity and has a chance of actually kind of standing the test of time. Anyway, that's my spiel on voice flow. Voice flow. Um, and so let's just crack on to actually, I'm gonna show you how to build a real simple um, chatbot um, on voice flow. Uh, the use case is real estate. What you're looking at right here is um, their dashboard, you can see I've, 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 I've built a couple of um, chatbots already. Um, and so let's just dive straight in. And so the use case we're going to uh, build for today, um, I've already mentioned a few times, is a real estate chatbot. Um, and I'm calling it property management chatbot because that's the actual specific use case. Um, so giving it a name, build AI assistance, let's just ignore that option for now. Um, how are we going to deliver this chatbot is essentially what it's asking right here. So this is just going to be a basic web chat, but you can see that we can deliver this chatbot through WhatsApp, Twilio, Microsoft Teams. Um, but for this chatbot, um, which is going to be super simple, right, just to kind of um, intro you to the web, uh, voice flow, it's just going to be um, a web chat. And I'm going to do it in the English language, um, which is obviously what I speak, though um, some people that listen to my accent uh, may think that I, I ain't speaking English, but I am. All right, cool. All right, so now we're actually in the actual designer um, within VoiceFlow. So anyone that actually works in software uh, would be familiar with Figma. It's got a similar look and feel. Um, and this is actually pretty neat from VoiceFlow here where they've actually just kind of given you a bit of a starting point and steer. Um, they've, they've embedded a video here that you can watch to kind of give you, learn a bit more around it, um, how you use these different um, tools here. I'm not gonna do that, um, but I do encourage you to actually have a play around, watch the video, um, go and look at their already made templates and kind of re-engineer some of their stuff. Um, but for today, like I said, we're gonna do the real estate chatbot, we're gonna do property management use case. And the chatbot I'm gonna build, build right now is essentially when uh, someone's going to wanna to rent a house or rent an apartment, they essentially go and visit it, they check it out, and then they'll usually have a ton of questions from like, hey, can I, are pets allowed to, can you smoke in here, to what's the bond price and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So there's a, usually a ton of questions that come back from a prospective tenant that goes to the agent that the agent has to answer. And so I think there's an opportunity to just have a, a chatbot that an agent sends out to everyone that visited a property to kind of just make that process a bit more seamless and a bit more automated for them so they're not answering the same question a million times. Okay, so that's the chat bot we're building today. Um, let's crack in. Let's crack in. Okay. Um, so these are the kind of like the different tools, or different kind of um, things that you kind of add to your chat bot. I'm not going to go through all of them today, but you can see the different buckets here. Um, for this chat bot, we're just going to start with a an intro text, right? And this is going to be I'll label this intro text. You can name these boxes. And when you're thinking about building a chatbot or your agent, you're really kind of thinking through like, what's the logical user flow that we need to take a user from, right? That you need to think through these in step-by-step -step process. And so the first thing um, 
that you're going to have in your capital. You're going to, going to greet the user, right? And so the context is so this person has just visited a property and they've checked it because they want to rent it out, right? So you're essentially probably going to be so say something like, thank you for inspecting X. And so if I was building this a chatbot properly for a real estate company, I would automate the pulling of this address in. But for this example, I'm just going to manually type in this address, right? Because I've done a bit of <laughs> preparing for this video, like a good boy today. All right, so it's going to say, thank you for inspecting Wellington Street, Bondi today, okay? Um, in this, I might actually link to, so let me just, I'll show you this is, is a great little tool here, by the way. Um, so this is a property, let's just assume someone's visited this property. I might grab the link for it, right? I might go, thank you for inspecting, blah, blah, blah. I might remind the user this is the property. And so this, once again, would be something we, that you'd automatically pull in if you're, you're building this for a real estate company. And then you might say, do you have any questions? Any questions? Right, that's, that's a quite logical first step. And what you want to do here is you want to connect start and go to the intro text. Then the next step as part of this process is you obviously need to get a response from the user, the person that's actually come to the property, right? So you're listening here and what you want to do is you want to capture their response. And I'll label this like user response. I don't know, I'm assuming a lot of people don't have, <laughs> don't have a software um, engineering background. This is what we're doing here is we're essentially capturing a variable. Um, and so what this box is essentially saying, we're listening for the user response in layman's terms, right? So we're asked, we've essentially said, thank you for visiting. Do you have any questions? And then what this box is actually doing is listening to the user to see if they do have any questions, okay? So that's the next step, all right? Then what we want to do is the user will might have a question. They might say, can I bring pets? Or are pets allowed in this property? Or what's rent? What's the actual cost? Or what's the bond? Right? So then we have to listen to what they... Uh, so that, Sorry, then we need to actually the help of the AI to... So we've listened to what they've said and now we need to actually feed it in to our AI block, right? And so there's different things you can do here, but what we actually want to do is actually listen to their response and then use AI, so chat, GPT, cloud, etc., a model to kind of answer them, but in reference to a knowledge base. And a knowledge base is essentially what we're gonna do right now. So a knowledge base is all the information we have on a, this property that we want the AI to use and reference to give an answer to the question the user asked, okay? so. I've pre-prepared this. Um, so what you want to do here is essentially, for this scenario, I've created essentially 100 questions around that property, that Bondi property I just uploaded, and I've provided answers to them, right? So oh, let me just pull it up right here. I'll pull up the... So in this property management FAQ, right, I've put information about the rent, right? What's included in the rent? How much is the security deposit? 1,400. I've essentially gone through 100 questions and I've answered them all in relation to this property, right? How many bathrooms, how many bedrooms? Can I decorate? Can I put frames up? Um, is there a move-in fee, et cetera, et cetera? Who, who do I call if there's an emergency? Who, who's the plumber? I've answered all those questions. And what you wanna do is you wanna add it to this knowledge base section, which is right here, that little thing. And the file format that I've had the best success with is just the text format. So I've essentially just entered all these questions. I actually asked ChatGPT to help me generate these questions. So if, you were, if you're if you playing playing along at home and you wanna have a play around, just get ChatGPT to generate it, um, right? So I'm uploading that. That essentially is 100 FAQs, 100 questions around that specific property. I've uploaded it here, right? You can see, tick. And you can see if it's working, right? So now we can test if the AI, the model is actually able to read the question. And before I test it, I'll, I'll let me just open up these settings. So you can actually have different models. Um, you can use different models to kind of um, integrate into your chatbot. I've been using cloud um, in 1.2. That's using one token, right? Temperature essentially means like how much how much creativity they'll have in the response, etc. Um, for something like this, I've just put a, a low a low temperature reading, and then you can obviously this is the the system message that you essentially can give a bit of a steer 
around to the AI, to the model around how it should, um, its role. You're an, you are an FAQ, AI, chatbot, chat assistant, blah, blah, blah. So I'm not gonna to touch any of this because this should work. Um, this is a pretty simple chatbot. Um, so I'll hit save. And then you can actually test using this preview at the top when this box goes. <laughs> Let's go. Let's test if it's reading it properly. Um, how much is rent? How much is rent? Perfect, that actually is the rent. Um, that property in Pondi definitely isn't $350 in rent, it's cut about a thousand. Probably in Australia is crazy, <laughs> um, like elsewhere in the world. So what then you also want to do, right? Um, so for this response AI, you want it to read the chatbot. Okay, and what you want to do, you want so the instruction you want to give here is essentially something like um, answer the user's question, and then you need to. This is a variable, so um, if you're not sure what a variable is, I suggest you Google it and look it up and how 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 it's used in building software and whatnot. Um, but this is essentially what you want to do. You want to essentially greet the user, right? Hey, you visited the property, do you have any questions? They ask a question, and now you're actually giving an instruction to the model to go enter the user's question, and we're referencing the last utterance, is essentially how we're storing their question, and then shifting it up, All right? So then you bring the, the flow goes from the intro to the user response, um, to the AI response, and then you want to essentially bring this up and create a bit of a loop here. So, Intro, user response, AI response, and creating this bit of a, a loop here, okay? Um, and this should actually work. So what you can actually do now is, let me just move this out of the way, get my ugly face out of there. So you can test it now, okay? There you go. Thank you for inspecting this property. There's the link, do you have any questions? Okay, uh, how much is rent? Let's test it out. Pets allowed. Um, what is the notice period? I actually don't know if I've written <laughs> the notice period, so this will be new to me. 30 days, you can probably write a notice. This, this is awesome, right? So you can see, I'm not gonna go and ask all the 100 questions. You can see it's actually answering questions based on the FAQ I uploaded. And this is really cool, right? So this is a real simple use case. Ideally, if you're implementing this for a, a customer or a company, you'd actually automate the pulling of the address, etc. This would be integrated into their system that they're housing this information. And this would be automated that, this would be an automated that SMS that goes out um, to a, a prospective tenant after they visited where you're essentially linking to this chatbot and then they can come in and get their questions answered. And you know, as you can see, this would save um, that agent a ton of time and eventually money, okay? And so if you wanna publish this chatbot, you can. Um, you can customize the appearance, like change the color. Let's, let's go to red. No, red's a bit of a shitty color, let's not do that. Let's go to <laughs> whatever color you want it. I won't do that right now. Um, you can copy the link and share it as a prototype. And let me show you how it will be shared. So if you are sharing it, you can say, I've just custom made the color. Thank you for inspecting the property. Do you have any questions? How much is rent? There you go. So this is awesome. You could update the colors to the branding, you can share the prototype, you can, this is a really awesome tool guys. Um, I know this is a real simple use case. Uh, I just wanted to show you real quickly um, how user friendly um, and how intuitive the voice play pl platform is. If you haven't ha tried it out yet, I highly recommend it. Um, but that's it for today guys. Uh, let us know if you have any questions.